excited to be joined by Dr. Mark Patterson. He is a vascular surgeon at UAB. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. The pleasure's mine. And now you're here to talk about something called peripheral vascular disease. First of all, just kind of give us an overview of what we're talking about. That's right. Peripheral vascular disease is a term or phrase that we use to describe any series uh, or elements that lead to narrowing or blockage in the lower extremity arteries. Mm -hmm. Usually that's going to be atherosclerosis and that tends to be the focus of the bulk of our practice. Yeah, it pretty common or, or not all that common? It is not uncommon. Right. Uh, current estimates are between 5 and 10 percent of the population will have some element of this. Now that will increase over time. It's more frequent in the elderly. Uh, it, it, it tends to be grouped in certain patients with other medical illnesses. Mm -hmm. So if you figure five to ten out of every patient or every hundred patients will have this problem, uh, those patients uh, need to be evaluated. Right. In terms of risk factors, uh, what are we talking there? There's no single risk factor that sort of bulks into that and, and causes an immediate concern, but it tends to be an aggregate risk. You have an increased risk if you have heart disease, you have high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol, mm -hmm. diabetes, and kidney failure. Mm -hmm. uh, really the most common uh, risk in all of that tends to be smoking, and that mm -hmm. is the most commonly adjustable risk. Some of those others you bring with you and you can't adjust. Right. Are, there, are there symptoms or red flags that we can kind of look out for? The most common symptom that we see in patients is difficulty with their walking and that is when they get up to do their daily work or their business they try to walk, they get pain in the muscles of the legs then they have to stop and rest and that goes away and then they those symptoms will return uh, shortly thereafter. Yeah, if a viewer um, thinks they might have um, this peripheral vascular disease or, or maybe a, a parent or a loved one, what should they look, look for in choosing a physician to treat well, it? Well, you know, it's really common for a lot of different fields and specialties to be interested in this, and I think that's great. Mm -hmm. I would start with a primary care physician, and if the concern persists, we're happy to uh, seek those. I think that in general, uh, someone who can provide medical care, interventional care, and surgical care, uh, which is something that the vascular surgery community has become really interested in, mm -hmm. uh, they should be evaluated in those regards. Yeah. You all at uh, UAB provide some great resources, just such a, uh, a blessing to be in the community. If our viewers want more information, 800-UAB-8816, or the website is uabheartbeat.org, uabheartbeat.org, and while there, uh, this uh, fancy, uh, you, you can download a cookbook. You can also take an online heart risk assessment, even uh, make a, uh, an appointment with a UAB physician. So all of that at the website, uabheartbeat.org. Uh, for our viewers, uh, doctor, just kind of a, a closing thought or any, any, any reminder, um, just something you'd like them just to keep in mind. Well, I think that it's important if there are concerns, this needs to be evaluated. Mm -hmm. It's worse to ignore it, right. let it build on itself. Well, we sure do appreciate it. Some uh, good, helpful information. Dr. Patterson, thanks so much. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Some great tips there. And you know, we've been doing this series with UAB all week on mm -hmm. getting your heart more healthy and some warning signs. If you've missed any of those, you can always go to our website, which is daytimealabama.com, and search for it. Anyway, we love to hear feedback from you is on our Facebook page. Just search Daytime Alabama. Also, a Twitter page, Daytime Alabama, as well. A great way for you to catch up and um, keep up to date on what's going on here and a good way to talk back to us. Well, talk back. Talk back. I tell not my children sass. not to talk back. Don't sass. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> you can sass. I mean, if you want to. <laughs>